What's up guys? Brandon here and I am back with another action figure review. Today we're taking a look at Disney Pixar's Lightyear, the brand new movie figures for 2022 by Mattel. Very excited. We have XL01 Buzz Lightyear. These figures were all about 10 bucks a piece and I found them at Walmart. Very, very excited to see what we can learn from these figures that may be in the film. There is the UPC if you need it for XL01 Buzz Lightyear. Super, super stoked for these figures, you guys. XL01, we have found the 12-inch figure and reviewed an awesome piece. This one is all new. This is Buzz, uh, I guess, just in his standard uniform or kind of like his maybe his technician uniform or when he's not in his spacesuit. This is Buzz and Socks. Socks is like the AI or robot I uh, guess companion for Buzz. For Buzz Lightyear and Socks, here is the UPC if you need it. And one more, we got a Space Ranger Alpha Buzz. Although this one is a little bit different, looks like he comes with a sword or a baton and uh, he's got his hair. He doesn't have his purple cap on his head. So this one is a little bit different from the previous ones that we've been getting. And taking a look at the back side here. Again, you guys, I can't express enough how excited I am for this movie and how well Mattel has been doing with these figures and just with the assortment that we've gotten so far with the sculpt work, uh, the paint applications, the articulation. It's really exciting stuff. All right, we're going to get these out of the packaging and take a closer look. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, we got our figures out of the packaging and they look fantastic. Just so you guys get an understanding and idea uh, of Buzz Lightyear as a whole, here he is shorter without any uniform. Here he is a little bulkier with his standard or first uniform. And here he is in his Space Ranger Alpha uniform. And you can definitely see there's a lot more armor on Buzz when he has that Alpha uniform on. So we're gonna take a look in depth at each one of these. We're gonna start first with XL01 Buzz Lightyear. And this guy looks fantastic. Like I said earlier, you know, we got this representation of Buzz in the 12 inch scale. We took a look at that one. And this pretty much looks like the exact same Buzz, just scaled down. Um, some caution here, when you're in the store, I'm gonna try and get as close as I can here so you can see what I see. Unfortunately, there was only one of these XL01 Buzz Lightyears let me try it this way a little bit better. Um, it's, it's tough. You might catch it, you might not. But for Buzz's face, it looks like his eyebrow and his eye here were off printed just a little bit. So it looks like this eyebrow and the whole print of the eye are just a little bit off center. And I'm going to try again one more time here just so you can see it. And you might not see it. We're going to put his helmet on. I'm going to display him with that helmet. And then I'll probably never think about this again after recording this. But be careful when you're in the store. Pay extra close attention. If there's two XL01s, make sure you look at them. Make sure the face is printed correctly. And then we're going to take a look at Buzz's chest. Just like the 12-inch Buzz Lightyear, it looks like it is dialed to 10 out of 11. There's 11 numbers on his dial. And it looks like number three is pressed. And it does say Lightyear. It does have his name there. So that is very nice. And overall, just a really, really nice looking figure. I can't help but think that like this is like what Buzz would be if he was just a NASA astronaut. And if NASA had like the Star Command program or something like that, that'd be pretty cool. I mean, we have all kinds of things now like Starlink. So I think this could definitely be a feasible suit or uniform for Buzz. So, aside from the face on mine, this is a very nice looking figure. All right, for Buzz's articulation, he's got moving in his head, side to side, on a, nope, yeah, it is on a ball joint, so interesting. So he can look up and down just a little bit, just slightly. His arms come out, forward and back, full 360. There's a bend and a twist, for the elbow, he has full wrist articulation, full rotation, waist articulation. His legs come out about that far, forward. They don't really go back at all. There's a bend and a twist at the knee. And he's got boot cut articulation, which is fantastic. 
a really cool looking figure for 10 bucks. This guy has a lot of articulation and uh, for like a four inch figure, I don't think we could get better. This is awesome. Taking a look at Buzz's accessories, we'll start with this crystal. On the box for this one, it just says includes fuel crystal. It didn't say Ivan crystal like the other one from the crystal grade Buzz Lightyear. And it doesn't look like there's a crystal sculpted in here. It looks like it's just translucent plastic times three, the exact same piece. But this is definitely a power source of some kind or crystallic fusion. Really interesting. In this one, it looks like it is completely sculpted in there um, and covered. There's no uh, grip or like complete handle for Buzz's hand to go through. It's plastic all the way through. I don't know if they meant to do that for this one or not. It does do the job of needing to be a crystal or power source or accessory for Buzz. We also get this helmet, which is really interesting. It's got a nice bright orange stripe and it says zero one. And it is a nice translucent clear plastic in there. And it looks pretty good. I'm really excited for this. I wish we got this with our 12 inch buzz. That would have been great to have him come with his helmet. This is a very, very tight fit. And um, you're going to have a lot of trouble with this. And um, even now, uh, it's going to it's gonna take me a while. Unfortunately, the problem is that the... Uh, the helmet is just a little bit too small to fit around the neck piece. So you've got to, um, you've got to try all avenues here. Start from the front, start from the back. Eventually you should hear a click, small click. And this is, this is really difficult. Like for a kid, this is going to be extremely tough or this helmet is going to be the piece that you lose, or this is going to be what you take to mom and dad and you say, Hey, help me. I can't get this helmet on my buzz. He needs to go to space. See, look, and even like this, thinking I just heard it click, it still doesn't want to go on correctly, and it's lopsided. And when you do this, you really risk scratching Buzz's face. So that's really tough. And the worst part for me is my Buzz has an imperfect face from the left to the right. So I really want this helmet on when I display him. That way I don't see that. All right, so we're going to push. There we go. There was a slight snap. Maybe you heard it. And there it is. There's Buzz's helmet on, and it's on properly. There you can see it definitely took a lot of finagling. Kind of looks like a race car helmet. But there is Buzz's helmet. And can he hold that fuel cell or crystal or whatever you want to call it? He can. He can hold it with ease with no problem. Looks like he's definitely on a mission for Star Command. A really nice piece, one I'm going to be very happy to display in my collection. All right, you guys, next taking a look at Buzz Lightyear and socks. This is going to be a really interesting piece because this is the first time we're seeing Buzz outside of any Space Ranger suit. This looks like a standard jumpsuit, a flight suit, maybe a technician uniform. We really don't know yet. All I know for certain is those three triangles Definitely have something to do with Star Command and like on his wrist communicator, classically we always see those three triangles. On our XL01 buzz, we see those three triangles on his wrist communicator. So that is definitely a symbol for something or just, I don't know, the standard, I guess, meaning for Star Command without the super significant logo with the rocket ship and the wings. But a very nice piece. He looks really good. We're gonna take one more look up and down at Buzz and his backside. He looks really good. Just a standard figure. I definitely got to figure out uh, what kind of stands to buy for these peg holes. I always wish we could get stands with them. And I still don't know what these peg holes are that are on their backs. Pretty much every one of these Buzz Lightyears has a peg hole on their back. We have no idea what they're for. Oh, he does have something here on his arm. What's that? Let's see if we can focus. Interesting. That is really hard to read. Oh, I think it just says Star Command. And that is a pretty intricate logo. Interesting. This kind of reminds me of like Booster's janitor uniform. His was green though in the uh, Buzz Lightyear Star Command TV show. Very interesting and nothing on this side. All right, a very cool figure. Really, really excited for this one. 
for Buzz's articulation. He's got movement in his head, side to side. It is a little tight, but it is there. He can also look up and down just a little bit. His arms come out about that far. Forward and back, full 360, bend and twist at the elbow. He has waist articulation, so that's wonderful. His legs come out about that far. Forward, they don't really go back. There's a bend and a twist at the knee. And he also has that awesome boot cut articulation. Really awesome for a $10 figure. This guy is great. Very excited and very happy to have him in the collection. Taking a look next at socks, this guy is definitely a fan favorite. I can already tell among my kids and my wife, they all seem to really, really love socks. And I can tell this guy will definitely go missing and end up on some adventures with Sophie and Cece. Just a really cool piece. And on top of all that, this cat is completely articulated. And uh, so we got one, two... And the, and the legs, separately the legs. So we got six points of articulation. They did not need to do that for this kitty. It could have just been a hunk of plastic, but they actually gave us, <laughs> for a nine or $10 action figure, they really gave us a completely articulated cat, um, an artificial cat or robot companion, but still, nonetheless, just a really, really awesome piece and very detailed. Looks exactly like what we got in the trailer. I'm going to try and get as close as I can there so you guys can see what socks looks like. And uh, it is a really awesome piece. And then can Buzz hold socks? Let's find out. And uh, just how, how correct that looks. Um, it looks like based on, based on what's going on in the, in the picture, the promo art, it is something like this. It's just Buzz with his cat. Yeah, there you go. Buzz isn't a space ranger. He just owns a kitty, a robot companion kitty. But yeah, it works. It works very, very nicely. And it looks great. It'll be awesome to add to the display. Awesome, awesome figures, you guys. Definitely recommend. All right, you guys, and next, taking a look at our Space Ranger Alpha Buzz Lightyear. This time with his hair and no purple cap on his head. He looks fantastic. This is the way we've seen Buzz in all of the promo art on all of the packaging for the Lightyear movie. So it's nice to finally have this figure. This is the third incarnation that we've got of Space Ranger Alpha Buzz. There are two others that I previously reviewed. And the Crystal Grade Buzz does have that green paint that's glossy. This one is a standard flat green. We're still missing that Lightyear emblem or name tag in yellow that should be right above that red button. But it is a very, very nice figure. And if it's your first time seeing this one, it's definitely got a wow factor to it, especially when you're holding the figure in hand. He looks absolutely fantastic. We still don't know about the peg hole that goes on his back and what that's for. Um, I'm hoping we'll get more accessories along the way, and that will kind of help to further define uh, what this is for Buzz, what it means if we get a universal jetpack or not. That would be really cool, but this guy definitely looks great. For Buzz's articulation, we have movement in his head, side to side, definitely tight. He can look up and down. This one just a little bit more up, which is cool, especially to capture the promo art, so you can see just how far up he can look with his head. Kind of leads me to believe that the other head that we got on the standard figure uh, where he's in his jumpsuit is a different head sculpt. His arms come out about that far, forward and back, full 360. There's a bend and a twist at the elbow. He's got full rotation in the wrist. He has waist articulation, which is fantastic. His legs come out about this far, which is pretty good. They go forward. They don't really go back, just a little bit. There's a bend and a twist at the knee, which is wonderful. And with this Buzz Lightyear, I don't believe we get any boot cut articulation. Uh, we'll take a look and test it out. Nope, yeah, no boot cut articulation. So 100%, this is the exact same sculpt that we got with our Crystal Gray Buzz Lightyear and very similar to exactly what we got uh, with our other 4-inch Buzz Lightyear, the one with the gimmick where you press his legs 
together and he shoots his laser. But still a very, very nice incarnation of Buzz. Very happy to have this guy. For Buzz Lightyear's accessories, it looks like he only comes with this. It is a sword or a baton. Kind of makes me think if he's a space cop, this is going to be like his space club. But it does look really good. Uh, there's even a peg on it so we can attach this onto Buzz's belt. Mine is a little warped, as you can see. That'll probably happen in the packaging. But overall, it looks pretty good. Not too bad at all. And uh, it's just a solid white piece. But I can appreciate that they painted it blue on the end. Kind of gives me uh, lightsaber vibes. But it does look really nice. And then so we can attach that onto Buzz's side. Just like this. Just like the previous Crystal Grade Buzz Lightyear with the gun attachment on his side. And this looks pretty good, pretty solid. I gotta say, I do like that a lot. Just a very nice uh, piece to add to this figure. And it definitely makes him stand out. Um, and then we can also put it in his hand. We'll put it over here on this side since that is where he gets the sword from his belt. And it looks pretty good. It fits in Buzz's hand very nicely and this looks great. All right, so taking a look at our three new Lightyear figures with a couple of the previous ones, we have the Crystal Grade Buzz Lightyear over here on the right, and we have the Mission Equipped Buzz Lightyear with the gimmick over here on the left. They all scale really nicely, and I think it's very noteworthy to show you that Mattel has uh, scaled these guys in a way so that you can see Buzz Lightyear without any equipment on is definitely a shorter figure. Um, and just slimmer. And we can also see with the XL01 versus the Space Ranger Alpha uniform, you can see uh, the difference. And you can see that with the Alpha costume or suit, he's got more protection. It looks like more armor. And it looks really, really cool. Now, as far as interchanging their accessories, let's give it a try. So here's the helmet from uh, Crystal Grade. And it does fit very nicely onto our new Buzz, our new Space Ranger Alpha Buzz. Um, other than that, we've got the jetpack back here, which I don't think really fits on any of these guys. We've got this peg hole back here that is a solid circle, and the only other Buzz that seems to have that, see these guys all got this big square back there. I'm starting to get a hypothesis for that. This Buzz right here, he's got it. He's got the uh, little circle, so... Let's see if maybe we can get that to work for this guy. Yep, yeah, that works. Um, I don't know what the purpose of it would be like this if he's in training mode. But even like this, I don't think it really makes sense for Buzz to have this jetpack on with, uh, with this outfit. But hey, you never know. It could happen in the movie. Um, other than that, we've got this gun, which uh, also... It has this peg, so that would probably fit on his back as well. And it does. Maybe that looks a little bit better traveling with a bazooka or rocket blaster on his back. Um, so that's definitely interesting. And it's kind of a little too heavy for his back. But you could, you could do that if you wanted to. And then other than that, that's... Uh, that's really it. I mean, we got some other things that we could do. Like, he's got... Um, our standard buzz he does have a clip there so you could put his uh his gun we get the gun from the uh crystal grade and it looks good it looks like that could be nice and it looks like uh we also got the xl01 who has something back here so you could clip this on and that actually looks wow that fits really well probably because it's the same color scheme but that looks fantastic so you could definitely do that. And that's really about it for the accessories. Um, I'm sure we're gonna get more and they're gonna be interchangeable. That'll be awesome. I got a really big hypothesis that there's gonna be a bigger chip pack than this. I think there's some promo art for it or some images floating around online. And that'll be interchangeable with this square back here for most of these Buzz Lightyears. But I gotta say, this is really, really cool. The fact that you can interchange pieces and parts is just, fantastic and very exciting especially as a kid or as a collector and just displaying your figures nicely these guys look fantastic and for another size comparison here's our new buzz lightyear in socks space ranger alpha buzz and xl01 buzz 
all on the four inch scale with some of their previous counterparts. Um, we have the Zyclops there, the yellow robot that is in scale with the four inch figures. These robots are going to be taller than our standard figures for certain. We also have a couple of other figures, the 10 inch action chop buzz and our previous 12 inch movie figure buzz light years. So really, really interesting here with the XL01. It is probably going to be a variation of paint, but you can see the difference in the knees. One painted, one not painted. Um, the rest of it looks about the same, with the exception of the shoulders on our 12-inch buzz. These are purple shoulders, and on our smaller buzz, it looks like they are just black or gray patches, which is really, really interesting. So it's probably going to be a mix or a combination of the two, but nevertheless, that's what it's going to look like. These guys are almost a standard um, copy of each other. Um, difference in the paint for the feet, but that's about it. The rest of it looks the same, except for the neck area. Here we can see Buzz Lightyear's neck, flesh colored, and the rest of his helmet area is just gray or silver. And here we get a little bit more color variation, green and purple. So definitely interesting. It's probably going to be a mix of everything that we see here, plus maybe some added extras. Like definitely that yellow light your sticker or symbol is going to be on Buzz's name tag above that red emblem. But nonetheless, these guys look very, very nice together. An awesome collection building progress here with all this movie merch. And I'm really excited to get the rest of the stuff. All right, you guys, that's about it for this action figure review. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, we have the XL01 Buzz Lightyear on the left. We have the new Space Ranger Alpha Buzz Lightyear in the middle, and we have Buzz Lightyear and Socks over on the right. Wonderful figures, and I can't recommend them enough. I found these guys at Walmart for about 10 bucks a piece. Wonderful, wonderful figures. Mattel is putting out some great merch for this movie. I think Zerg is the one that I'm most excited for next. I really want to find one of those. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you're going to pick up or pass on these figures and what you're most excited for about Lightyear, either the movie or just the merch and what you're excited to get your hands on. You guys, thank you so much for the likes, comments, shares, and subscriptions. It's been absolutely phenomenal. My channel continues to grow because of you guys, and it's fantastic. Thank you so much for all of the support. As I find more new cool figures, especially from the Lightyear movie, I'll be sure to bring it to you right here, so stay tuned. Keep it at my channel. And once again, I'm Brandon. Thanks for watching.